on Friday, I started their early for voting the, the day that we lost but, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. But to be clear, you're not taking any arrows out of your quiver. You're not ruling anything out. Good morning. Sunday morning. James and I have gone to many, many shows in the past, so... Balls deep in the fifth dimension. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to the Squatch and the Bun episode 14. And this week on Racky Radio Productions and forever and ever, amen. CJ, the Swatch and the Bun is now in the in-video era. How unreal as fuck What do you mean the in-video era? Is the Canon Sun is set up. You can see it right now. And if you're watching on Racky Radio Holy Productions on YouTube, Lito. you can see our fucking faces for the first time. How unreal We're going to be is. on YouTube? We're going to be on YouTube. Our faces, dude, right here. That's what's up. My face, your face. It's unreal as fuck. That's unreal as fuck. Unreal as fuck. Unreal as fuck. What a time that guy! It's been so long, honestly, since that uh, we've talked to the people since we've been here. We kind of were on a. I feel when the fuck was before Franconia Ridge because we sneaky bender. We were yeah for real. We were we were on a bender of uh, you know the, the squash and the bun. We didn't do that shit. We were gone. I I barely saw. We the only time I really saw CJ was when we were uh, hitting the gym, brother. You know what I mean? We're getting large and in charge, and we're ready to go. But we're back with episode fourteen, and I'm really excited because so much, so much has gone down. Honestly, yeah, it's been a it's been a wild adventure. We're sipping on bangs right now, not sponsored because we're uh, just a couple of schmucks, you know. But a bunch of unsponsored jabronis sipping I, on in a. An American-made energy drink. Let me tell you, it's keeping me awake right now. I My headache, I've had all day long, folks. It is finally gone here as we get into the wee hours of the night. CJ. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm so happy just to be back here. It's been, oh, geez. What do you want to go at first? Because we have, we have so much. So much we were going to be throwing at your domes today. So much that is going yeah. to be talked about. Because we have, adventures have been gone on. Things have gone down. A presidential elections have been. Uh, God knows what's going on with that right now, folks. That's I guess something we'll touch on later on. But I don't know. I feel like we started this whole thing in lockdown, and I feel that like we might be heading back into another lockdown. Listen, dude. listen, listen. What do listen. you think, dude? Do you think we're gonna get locked down? If you had a guess, New York State. New York State is we already. Know, shutting we all know that's watching the bun is filmed in Long Island, New York. The great, great Long Island, New York. So I mean, California is already. I, they, don't, they don't have a lockdown yet, but I don't know. Listen, if they it have gets, curfew, it gets if it gets to be in the morning, you know, Sunday morning, and this shit shuts down again. I, already, my friend, the Kendo Stick Man, who was recently here in uh, the fucking Fifth Dimension Studios, unreal uh, that was. I missed it, but. He his gym has shut down. His Planet Fitness in his what? hometown has shut down. In Buffalo? Or? In Buffalo. Uh, what? His gym has shut Are down. Are you serious? In Buffalo. I'm Dude, on Long Island. I feel like Long Island Long is Island's more gotta populated. be worse than Buffalo. I mean, I don't know. I heard Cuomo say that expect gyms to shut down and within the next week. No, 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 no. He said that shit? Yes, he did, dude. Oh, this, listen, listen. I have made a serious amount of tweets that if the government comes after me, one day the FBI may be knocking at my door for my tweets to the governor of New York. <laughs> that <laughs> mother, shot, dude. That motherfucker. Listen. I'm just starting to get back, baby. And listen, if you shut that shit down, I'm not going to let it stop me. I'm going to find I'm going to like I'm going to take Bruce. I'm going to curl Bruce. I'm going to curl my cat Peak. She's one fat obese bitch. She's got I put her on the scale, CJ, 20 pounds. That's a 20 pound dumbbell. Oh, a peak? Peak. 20 pound dumbbell. Maybe she'll make an appearance. God knows where she is right now. She's Maybe. not the happiest of cats. She yet. does not like to be uh, her tummy touched. touched. She had she had a I surgery. Feel like an, I feel like you would need to touch the tummy. In she order had to a surgery, go. and after that, it's no tummy touching. You know what I mean? It was just 
You get near it, it's fucking. I'm coming after you. You're getting bitten. You're getting scratched. Uh, she she will she will attack and and kill. She will attack to kill if you touch the tummy. Full cap, no cap. <laughs> Full cap. Let me tell you straight up. But I I want to jump in to something we were talking about before the show. A story that you said this is this is the squatch in the bun worthy to throw out here, and it was about uh you know gimmicks. We were we were talking about. Um, you know, it's just a, you, like, look at this, look at this studio. This studio is just full of a bunch of, you know, gimmicks and shit. And we just got a brand new gimmick that we're going to unveil later next week. I think, right. I don't know. I don't want to spoil the unveiling, but oh, the, uh, photo shoot. There's a new gimmick to come. Yeah. Oh yes. This photo shoot is going to be sick. And, and that's what sparked the, the, uh, the conversation. Cause I was like, damn, yo, WWE really has their freaking gimmicks up, man. Like, dude, I just seen someone put me, post me a picture today. It texted me a picture and it was like. Um, a freaking one of those like wrestling rings and all the action figures around it like we had when we were kids. You still have a bunch of them, but they even have a set that looks like the freaking the Firefly Funhouse. Bro. Wait, what the fuck? Oh yes, yes, I have seen this on there. They have they come out. That's like they have gimmicks for everything. Like man. this is why I understand why they fucking do the uh, you know towards kids thing. You know what I mean? Because. A lot of the ones that I have here, yeah, you know, I, I didn't go out and get these. Are like these were in my childhood fucking. I understand the, the. I understand why why WWE is PG, and it's because there's a fuckload of money oh in it. Oh my god, dude. these toys! They have a place that I know they have like one. It was you remember these the Chris Jericho they can sell to kids like Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens when they broke up. That just that promo, that fucking vin, whatever the fuck you want to call it, segment. That segment. They made a whole fucking place at four that I think now, like, what? If it's still, it, yes, if it's still in the box, I'm pretty sure it goes for like hundreds of dollars. Get out of here. This shit had like the fucking sculpture. Get out of here. That he dude. fucking showed had for Kevin Owens. It has the fucking the picture. They made a place out of, the of fucking, that. The gimmick. They made they made a whole place. And they have the like Braun Strowman flipped over a truck. They had like the truck and him like you can get the car with Braun Strowman. They have so many things. And even like when we were young, they would have like you would get like the uh, like the foam belts with like action figures. They would like it was just a whole fucking gimmick, gimmick, gimmick. And it, I love the fact that you can just go on WWE shop and you can purchase uh, the Miz Gingerbread Man uh, ornament for your Christmas tree. That's some balls deep <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? That's something I need to get on. I need a man bun Jesus fucking gingerbread man. That's so to put crazy. On my tree. The amount of gimmicks that are involved in WWE and wrestling in general, you know? You know, as the gimmick king, I have a uh, an appreciation for a good fucking gimmick. <laughs> let me tell you. Straight up. <laughs> Hundo P. That's funny. Hundo P. <laughs> <laughs> Legit. But no, we're talking about gimmicks. And uh, this brings up a story that I have from my childhood. I was just like, give you a look at like what I was like when I was a kid. You know, what did I look like as a middle school kid? Is this, was this kid. short hair, CJ? <laughs> dude, this was spiky hair, CJ, Holy dude. Fuck. I had gel in that shit, dude. Like some Jersey Shore gimmick, dude. <laughs> Yo, Paulie, dude. Spiked the fuck up, dude. Oh, get that out of here. That was me. I think I'm, I'm going to talk. I'm going to reference. I'm referencing fifth grade CJ right now. Okay. Spiky hair, dude. Wearing a freaking NBA sweatband. Headband, okay, an NBA headband, spiky hair, and I loved basketball so much. I I would watch tapes of old basketball. I I played basketball like twenty four seven. You know, my dad played basketball, and we used to go to the city every weekend or so. Not every weekend, but I would say probably once or twice a month, because like, whatever. My dad knew this spot in the city, and it was pretty much just a black door. Like on a garage, oh, like that's picture like a some NYWC, like the NYWC, shit. Exa <laughs> exactly, dude, exactly. But like in the city, dude, or like if you would just be in the city, it would just be a fucking black door, bro, and like no number on it, no name, no nothing. You had to know about it and where it was. That's what's and, up. That's some sketchy shit. And I it like was it. like some crazy shit, dude. And like we would walk into this door, dude, and it would just be like three or four floors of like. Flea market for jerseys, bro. Oh. And it was literally all it had to be stolen, dude. They were like just like and they would literally see me and my dad and just see like two white guys and close the fucking doors on us. Like, let us they in. thought he was a cop, you know. A, a nine a eight out of ten places would close up shop as soon as they saw my dad because well, they thought he was a cop. Here's the thing, let's let's set up the uh the image for the people that don't know. CJ's dad, how tall is he? He's seven foot two. Seven foot two a uh, seven foot two white man. <sighs> You know, built as fuck. He's not just a fucking yeah, he's tall, big, skinny yeah. guy. He's built. <laughs> he 
walks in, there I think they're gonna be like, "Fuck, that's a cop." Yeah, they were they were bugging out, man. You know, they haven't seen someone who looks like that ever. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got, well, but like he had his kid with him, you know. Like I don't, I don't know, it was just weird, but whatever. So there's definitely sketchy shit going down. Is what I'm trying to say here. And they had like the legit Mitchell and Ness jerseys that were like. 300 bucks dude and they were selling them for like 20 bucks 25 bucks and they were they were legit dude stitched everything so we'd go there and we would buy it <laughs> oh excuse me shit, excuse me. you got the fucking vid i don't have the vid i promise oh, no, i can't promise you i might be asymptomatic but uh, fuck you I don't, don't have, have the vid. vid but no so we would go there and we would i would get like four or five jerseys a clip like every like couple of weeks you know my dad too and like I would wear. You were on some I had, so, shit, I had so many jerseys that I would wear these. Jer- I would wear a new jersey to school every single day. I actually had a goal one year to see if I could wear a different jersey, like every day for like three months. Was that with the gimmick? They knew it. Everyone was like, ah, the some gimmick. of my friends knew it, you know. And I, it was legit, dude. I had a, I had that many jerseys in my wardrobe that I literally had one every day for three freaking months, dude. Straight that's up. so many jerseys. That's a lot of days, man. That's like what? Uh, dude, that's like ninety days. That's I mean, like well, almost of days. school though, it's like a little less, like yeah. seventy days. I I probably had like I probably literally had like seventy five to like eighty of these jerseys. Like <laughs> I know that's a very small number, like seventy eight, but like I had a lot of jerseys, dude. And I was a big WWE fan, obviously watching that shit as a kid. And I was love John Cena. This is back when he was doing the whole rapping gimmick, dude. The trademark the word life. Freaking thugonomics. And um, there's a 100% chance that I was wearing that bike chain, dude. Just, it, it a, just is, a freaking bike chain. Is this a bike what chain a, or is this WWE this shop is official the bike WWE chain? WWE shop official bike chain. John Cena shit, dude. I did not get this bike chain from Walmart. I got it from WWE shop, I, I think. I, got, I think I actually got it from... Yeah, you're definitely too young for this. But... WWE used to have a restaurant in New York City, bro. Yeah, I've never been. I've heard of oh it. Oh my but god! I dude. wasn't around for it. Oh, dude, me, my dad did take me there a couple of times when I was a kid, and me and my one of my good friends were like really into wrestling, and uh, we were there one night, and like they would always, if the show was in like New York City, I remember my dad probably he probably tried getting tickets for the show and couldn't get them. Well, that was that was when uh, the shit was at its fucking like hottest, you know what I mean? Like, oh, dude, it was crazy. Shit was sold dude. out every fucking crazy. every night. I, he did take me to a couple of shows when I was younger. I remember I went to like I think I went to SmackDown once. Yeah, because I remember in my in my mind's eye, I remember seeing those fucking curved SmackDown one. Remember back in the day they had that that curved stage? It was like oh metal, my God. Like, before the fist, before the fist, dude. Early shit, dude. That wasn't for I. That was when I was watching. There was a. Uh, I started watching when there was fist. But anyway, we were in this restaurant, dude, and like the show is probably in like the garden or whatever. And Taz and someone else was doing like they would do the broadcasting from the restaurant and you could be in the background like, oh, like jumping around and shit. And we got on TV doing Wait, that what shit. the fuck? Yeah, they would like show it. They'd on be Monday like, Night Raw? On Monday Night Raw, they'd be like, they'd be like, oh, let's go to the, the, the restaurant. And it'd be like, oh, they, they would have like, you know, we'd be in the back. We need to like, find oh, this. We need to find this. I definitely this. was on an episode. I don't know which episode it was, we, though. We need to make But I know next? that somebody came in there and they fucking, they started brawling out in that shit. And it was on like, it was on fucking Monday Night Raw. And like, they fought through the restaurant. And me and my buddy were like right there. We need to try to find out where this is and get that clip of the psychedelic, baby psychedelic Sasquatch. <laughs> Dude, it was so cool, man. And they gave you, like, these freaking stickers when you went there. As it, I don't know if they gave it to everybody, but they saw me and my friend who were, like, two little kids. A lot of people there were, like, they were, like, our age now, you know? And they were there, like, <laughs> drinking beers. Because it was also a bar and shit. And, like, this is, like, the height of, like, DX and shit. So I feel like everyone our age was, like, so into it, you know? They were down there drinking beers, fucking hanging out. And, like, they saw these two little kids with their parents, and they gave us a whole shitload of stickers. And they were on my little uh, on my bike helmet for, like, years. Fuck yeah. They, they definitely still are on the bike Some helmet. Some WWE yeah. sticker I, got, I got a Big Show sticker on there. Big Show. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, dude, the, the WWE restaurant was so cool, and they should totally bring that back. But there's definitely a reason why I can see why it's PG, because they, like, there's so many gimmicks that could be made off of kids. So many. Even fucking, I, I even mean, look around this shit. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, man. I mean, 
Take a look, folks. But that's the thing. Is also that they know they know that you guys are gonna buy no matter what. Like that's the thing. They know like the freaking. I'm like, this has been. They know that the uh, man bun Jesus of the world will spend their money no matter what. <laughs> the yeah. jumbo man will spend more and more. Straight dude. up, you know what I mean. Uh, you need you need something to put on this fucking man bun uh, Jesus uh, mannequin back here. You know what I mean. <laughs> you need you need to put a belt around his fucking waist for Christ's sake, and you got to do it a uh, gimmick. Gimmick but city, if it was know? like all geared to like, if it was just all geared to adults, I don't think there's that many. There's probably not as much people that would be buying merch. Uh, I, uh, yeah, pro- it depends. You know what I mean? It depends what it is. It depends the demographic of what it is. I mean, I think that, you know, there are the fucking demarks that will always fucking exactly. do but their thing. But they'll buy then, it for every three for kids. You know, they'll, they'll buy it no matter what. That's the thing. It's the f- I love gimmicks, bro. I fucking have, We got a new fucking merch bro coming out fucking soon i swear to god New gimmicks we got a. Uh, they were <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen they were masks of the fifth i still dimension. have not gotten a fifth dimension shirt i gotta get one. Oh, listen actually right now tomorrow starting to ladies and gentlemen starting tomorrow there is a sale on pro wrestling tees.com slash man bun jesus no code needed everything every four shirts on there is a 20 percent off and if you order tomorrow you get a free uh collectible from pro wrestling tees they're gonna send you something that used to be in the crate so and there's a bunch of other little gimmicks. If you spend fucking this and that, you get free shipping. But 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 we got shirts on there. Fifth Dimension shirt. I know I'm picking up another one because my my homie the Groovy Grizzly needs to be wearing one of them shits. So and I need to wear mine. I want to. Uh, I want that shit Bullet Club style, dude. I want the whole fucking cult wearing that fucking Fifth Dimension shirt. I think that I shirt is pretty one, yeah. pretty sick. And but the uh, the new merch, dude. It's the masks of the Fifth Dimension, dude. They're ski masks with third eyes. We got black, white, and fucking uh, pink, hot pink, to go along with uh, all the pinkness that MBJ wears to the ring's key. Yeah. But I need to do a photo shoot before I put them up on the uh, at man on Jesus Instagram. So many gimmicks, bro. A photo shoot with just uh, the mask on, yeah? Yeah, well, I need a fucking, I need, I need fucking female models, bro. I need to put this shit on females. I need to go out there and need to find them. I need to find the prettiest female in Long Island and then cover her face with a groovy grizzly mask. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? <laughs> see, that's the thing. They don't even have to be good looking because you can't even see their face. You exactly. Know? They don't have to be good right, looking. So I just know? need fucking chilling up on the fucking screen with the mask on. You know what I mean? <laughs> I guess so. How do you spell? <laughs> that's the fucking title of the episode. That's what you got to say on, uh, on Craigslist. Hello. Uh, I am currently looking for... To do a foot, fifth dimension psychedelic photo shoot. <laughs> Dude, I would fucking, I swear to God, if I had the means to like hire fucking people to take like, not like only fan pictures, but you know, like uh, fucking dirty lingerie pictures with the groovy grizzly head on for a, a fucking holiday, a uh, fucking, what do you call it? A holiday calendar. That's one of my goals. I fucking I want to do a groovy grizzly holiday calendar, sexy style. <laughs> you know? But you know, you I don't think any I, I don't know who's gonna do that shit for free. Maybe I'll fucking I'll what suck the hell, dude? Yeah, you know it. It's fucking straight up. Listen, if you're listening right now and you're a female with a sexy bod and you, <laughs> and you want to wear the groovy grizzly head and show a little skin uh, for the calendar photo shoot. Let me know because I'm looking for you and we can do numerous. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about I want, uh, you know, all skin colors. I want all kinds of uh, nationalities out here. Oh, my God. Even, um, you know, it, whatever, you know, maybe we'll creatures. Do they them, dude. Dude, they them. Uh, have you no, ever? No, I didn't. <laughs> that, that sounded fucked up, dude. I didn't mean to say. Don't cancel it. <laughs> I didn't mean to say you guys are creatures. I meant to say creatures, space and they them, dude. If you were, if you identify as a they them, we want you. If you identify as a giraffe, we want you. You know what I'm saying? Creatures. We're, I'm looking for those guys that were yeah. in the woods with the hammer. I want dude. them so bad to be part of this fucking what, shit. What, oh, dude, the I fuck, want dude. the guys in the woods with the hammer. Where so the fuck? Bad, where dude. the fuck do you find these guys? If uh, you haven't seen the promo that we're talking about, there's these guys in the freaking woods, man, and they're talking about. Some kind of hammer shit, dude. They're, they're a gang, just... basically, of like these white guys. One guy is like shirtless. He's got tits. They're total creatures, man. And there's some guy in the background with like a mask on. And there's like another guy in like the back back of the woods. And, and these guys throwing the hammer. He's like, my mother told me you can never. Oh, my God. You know what? I think I fucking have to pull it up, honestly. But as I'm pulling it up, <laughs> they told me you cannot be the nail. 
<laughs> you have to be the ham. You have dude. to be the ham. No, I did. This, this is some sick promo, man. Yeah, you have to be the ham. As I'm pulling it up, CJ, I want to talk about a little bit about a uh, Franconia Ridge, dude, because we left off and we we thought Man Bun Jesus was done, dude. We thought MBJ was going to die. Oh, that was basically, I think the... What are you talking about? The last episode was Rest in Peace MBJ. You know, I was nervous about going up there. Oh, Franconia yeah, 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 no, no, no. You were nervous about going up there. You but were. We obviously were back. Obviously, we survived. Spoiler alert: We are here looking up the hammer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> looking up we the are, hammer. We are here, but no. Um, Franconia Ridge was amazing, man. Like, dude, that was the best hike I've ever done in my life. That dude, was it was so cool. Honestly, man. it changed the perspective how I look at myself, and I gained a lot more because when we did the Green Belt Trail, folks, it was it was rough because. We did that shit. I was sitting on my ass. I was just chain smoking. I was, uh, you know, not doing anything. I wasn't going to the gym. The gyms were closed. I was just being a bum. And we walked fucking, what was it, like 40 miles, fucking whatever it was at the end of the day. Uh, that kills a man. But now I was fucking going to the gym. I was being healthy. I was fucking not chain smoking. And we went to go do the Franconia Ridge. And I'm not, and we get out and the, we, we go, you know, it was crazy experience just to roll up and look up at the sky in the, some place that is just fucking not like around. Well, we, here. we started driving there late at night. We got, we started hitting the road at like, I think it was like nine o'clock ish, 10 o'clock. Would you say? It's like nine, I think. Nine. Maybe ten by the time we picked up BP. Yeah, so whatever we you know we 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 fly by night, folks. Cause I think it takes like six hours to get to the Franconia Ridge from where we are stationed. And if in you're going Long by Island, if you're going by day, it's um, you know, it's there's gonna be mad people on the road. There's gonna be traffic everywhere you're going. Dude, you're going through numerous states, and you're gonna miss the fucking hike, man. You know, like I don't know, like it, it takes like yo, you, these trailheads fill up early. And like exactly, I don't like dealing with people and traffic and shit like that. So I'd rather fly by night. That's kind of always been the way that I travel. I think like if look, all right. So I travel a lot, a lot now because I do a lot of hiking and I go a lot of places. And these places I go to are like three, four, five hours away. And that is how I think is the most efficient way to travel. If you have the time and mind capacity, whatever to do it. I get home from work at three o'clock. I sleep. I sleep. 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 Wake up at like nine ten, hit the road, and I I like to do that because then I I get there before the sun rises, and I can wake up with the place that I'm going to, and I love that man, I love that. But we got to this place balls deep at like two in the morning, in the middle of the White Mountain Forest, and um, get out to take a piss on the side of the road, basically. Dude, we could see the whole galaxy. Man. Holy fuck. I've, <laughs> I used to fucking go to camp in the middle of the New Jersey woods and the stars and the shooting stars were crazy. But this was on a whole nother fucking level. Like I, there was like every inch of the fucking, there was no like, like, you know how you can see fucking like there's stars here and stars there and stuff. But this was like, yeah, you can see, there, there, was like there was so many, there was stars, like a million yeah, stars. There was more stars than there was. This shit like blew my mind. Black sky. Oh, oh my god <laughs> I was like I was fucking mind blown That was, was like, so cool Holy shit This is some fucking wild stuff when, we were, when we were driving through with the, To get to the uh, To get into the White Mountains um, There was like a good I, I, There was, had to be like Maybe like I don't know 50, 70 miles With like There was no lights at all Except for the cars You know And we went off the road too So And there weren't that many cars Because it's like in Two in the morning I don't know Whatever the circumstances were there was no light pollution at all, and the stars were immaculate. Wonderful. <laughs> they were. So, uh, we got to the trailhead, and, like, we took a nap. <laughs> I think it was, That's usually how I do it, though, you know? Like, I'll fucking drive there and get there at, like, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., sleep till 6 a.m., and then go hike for the rest of the day. I couldn't know? believe when we woke up, like, we were surrounded by fucking... There were so many people there. Oh, I was dude, like, the cars were full. The, the parking lot was filled, man. These people are ready to fucking go. When we woke know? up, people were already, like, balls deep, ready to hike the shit. And, like... All right, so we woke up, and I, I needed a coffee, and I think we just wanted to grab a sandwich because we forgot to grab a sandwich yeah, for we, the day. We needed that lunch. We needed dude, food. For lunch, you know? And, um... Whatever, so... We drove to the Cumberland Farms, which oh, is like yeah. 10 minutes away. It was the Cumberland Farms. Grabbed our freaking, gotta get down to the Cumberland Farm. <laughs> Grabbed that freaking lunch and freaking coffee, which was dope. And then I remember like driving there and just being like, 
holy shit, man. Because like it, at nighttime, you really can't see the fucking anything around you. Oh you know? yeah, you, it was just all black. You, don't like, see you shit. see, you can, you kind of have the idea that like you, oh, we're in the White Mountain National Forest, like oh, you know. But you didn't know. You can't. But see you can't nothing. really see anything. It just feels like you're like. It feels like you're in this big thing, you know, and there's like other things there that are, you know. But, but driving around. But when dude. you wake up, at, holy shit. <laughs> These mountains are incredible. I think that was our first time seeing the mountains. It was. And we, it was just, and it that was, was a <laughs> mind-blowing moment. It was like, oh, this is yeah. what we are in store for today. Straight they kind of blew my mind and they look very intimidating from like the from the from the street from the bottom oh yeah when you're looking at these mountains it's like holy fuck how are we gonna climb this shit it really was like something else you know <laughs> it was cool seeing the mountains from the ground i think that was like going to Cumberland farms and driving back through the mountains to get there and seeing all of the franconia ridge it was just like holy shit man like it was we're fucking, really about to be up there it was you know? crazy that fucking i was like whoa you know what i mean like that is like looking from the fucking bottom of that shit all the way up. Like it's high, man. You're like, holy fuck. You know what I mean? When like, it, you see where it breaks tree line and the fact that it's up so high that trees can't grow there. Like it literally is up so high that it breaks tree line. It's just like, it's so crazy, dude. It's like, I feel like it breaks tree line and there's still another mile ahead of to go more. It's like, holy shit. Like I've never seen mountains that were like that. Most of the mountains I see are like covered in trees and shit. These mountains are so big that trees can't fucking grow up there, you know? And, it, like, I, that that was just, like, so cool to see these rugged, just gnarly-looking mountains, you know? <laughs> and, um, I don't know, starting that hike off was great. And, like, it just was, like, it was definitely tough, but it wasn't as tough as I thought it was going to be. I, I definitely did not, um, you know, at first I was like, all right, you know, we're going, we're going, we're going. It was, was cool how the, you kind of climb up these waterfalls to get to, to the yeah, top. Yeah, that was the, the, that was the beginning. That was cool. The beginning was just a ton of these. Uh, you're, you're like going around the, well, you're climbing up them basically. Yeah, you know you're basically I mean? you're climbing like, right up the falls. And you know? then you're like crossing them and you're going up. It, it was a. Uh, yeah, I, I can't imagine. If it was like more of a rough stream, it probably would have been a little challenging to cross them because like you do have to cross over the freaking where the waterfall is going down and shit. I feel like maybe in the springtime it would be a little more intense or after a storm. Rough waters but coming down. The time we had it was really, it was nice. We were in August, late August. So I don't know. It was just a really, it was a nice hike, you know, and the, the scenery does change throughout the hike. I feel like, like, the terrain changes a little bit. It was like more like definitely a lot of rocky, but I like, was sweating my ass off because well, they, people were I'm telling just, us on the way up, like, oh, it's, it's going to be negative 30. Like, we, that, what was the worst we heard? I think we heard it was like five. There's going to be five degrees up there. This woman said. this woman told me it was going to be <laughs> fucking. Did you see the temperature? She we're said like, it's going to be below freezing. She was like, it's going to be below <laughs> freezing up there. And I'm fucking, I'm drenched in sweat. I'm like sweating through like my first two You're fucking, like, I, I, I got like four layers <laughs> and I got fucking two on at the moment and I sweat through fucking both of them already and I'm like, oh my God, no, what's the fuck? She's like, it's going to be below zero up there. <laughs> like, are you prepared for this shit? <laughs> yeah, I was like, and then that's when I was like, fuck, today is going to be rough, you know, and I was like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, when that woman said that shit, I was like, shit. I was like, what did I get myself into? But uh, as we start going, you you get into that, you, you were telling me on the, the last to what we episode, did about probably, the flow right. state the flow state. and the flow state i was like <laughs> i was getting at a point where i was just going 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 climbing 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 and it was like i was even you were like holy shit like good job man like i was like yeah you know for yeah, real like dude. i am fl in the flow state we really weren't stopping and we were like there was people out there that looked like they were experienced white mountain hikers oh, you dude, could tell we, they were out there they're doing it for a while we and we were everybody. blowing past them dude like there was groups of people fucking blowing past them there was like I don't know, dude. No, nobody passed us, and we passed a lot yeah. of people. Basically, we weren't trying to diddle around. <laughs> I, we were I trying was to like, to the it's crazy how like I, we were really moving fast, man. You know, and we got up there. I, it's like even though that we had a fast pace, I probably think it still took us like two hours to get up oh, there. Oh, most definitely two hours, yeah. maybe a little more. But once we got up there, you know, it was I put on the fucking once we broke tree line. It was something else. Man. I put on that fucking windbreaker, and we fucking you start seeing fucking. And it did get cold. It was definitely cold. You start seeing the there. outside of the fucking the road, a fucking all the way down there, and these cars they look like fucking ants. And you're like, oh my god, what the fuck? And you see all the other mountains, and you're up in them, you know. And then we're, that's the fucking first experience of like, holy fuck. And then we had a little more climbing to go before we got to the, the fucking the first. The first mountain was Little Haystack. Little Haystack, yeah. damn it. 
The little haystack was nice, man. That was a cool summit because you could look and you could see the whole trail ahead of you. And it's like a good four miles and it just looks like, oh, what an amazing trail. Like, it looks like the coolest fucking trail, I felt like. Just Once like, you get up there, it looks like some oh, shit dude. out of a movie. It, it really does, it looks like some. It looks like fucking some Star Wars lightsaber battle at the top of some fucking mountain kind of gimmick. I've seen this 100%. shit on Instagram so many times and on people's stories and all this... Uh, Appalachian Trail blogs and shit, cause it's like I know it's a it's a fan favorite from the Appalachian Trail. Like a lot of people really say the Franconia Ridge is like their favorite spot on the trail. So like, and it's rated in it's rated in freaking National Geographic as like a top ten hike in the world. So the world, I mean, folks. like I knew that it was a dope trail, and I knew like, and it just like just like finally when you get the little haystack, you can like actually see it in person, and you're standing on it, and it's like. That was such a cool feeling, man, and seeing all the mountains around you. And we just had such a perfect, perfect day. Oh, my God. And they fucking say... No it. clouds. Like, oh, man. Yeah, I've they seen say other it's only like this 30 days it. out of the year. 30 days out of the whole year, yeah. And we got one of those days. That was some fucking balls deep shit. The fact that we got one of those days. Yeah. Yeah, that was incredible. And, like, you know, they... That was sick, man. <laughs> I so as, as you fucking as you head on to the next mountain, what was that one? Do you remember that? The name? middle one is called Lincoln. As we were going over to that one, and as you turn around, you look back and you're making progress on this. I feel like it, it just like it started to look like even crazier. You know what oh, I mean? Like, uh, now the, that you're the, the on, further you went, the crazier it looked. And you're like man. you're looking back and fucking it's just like what the fuck? Well, and when you're on Lincoln, you're in the middle of the three of them. It's Haystack, Lincoln, and Lafayette. Lafayette is the iconic one that everyone. Not everyone, but a lot of people consider that their favorite peak in the White Mountains, and they say that it has like their their favorite views in the Whites. And I knew Lafayette was like the the panoramic 360 like legendary peak, but Lincoln is really cool because it's right in the middle of Lafayette and Little Haystack. And when you just look around, you could see the whole Franconia Ridge Trail, you could see the Appalachian Trail, you could see Mount Washington and the Presidential Range in the distance. And you could see this trail where it just goes, because you're on the AT, and the AT goes over, I know it goes over Mount Washington and Adams and shit, so I'm just looking at it and like trying to follow it all the way around to freaking Mount Washington, and it's like, it's crazy how far away some of the mountains look, but like how close they actually are. And I think we also learned that just from standing on Little Haystack and getting to freaking Lafayette eventually, like... We couldn't even see Lafayette from Little Haystack. Oh, yeah. It was like. We thought Lafayette might have been Lincoln. And then when we got to Lincoln, you could finally see Lafayette like towering. And we were like, holy shit. Okay. Yeah. No, it was definitely crazy. the middle I was one. Like, oh, yeah. I was like, which one are we on? Are we, are we the, is that next one the top? Is that it? <laughs> yeah. like, no, 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 no. Well, once we got there, we were like, holy shit. Yeah. That yeah. is not it. Yeah. I think the, the definitely the hardest climb up was Lafayette, I feel like. I feel like that third mountain like was the once toughest we, climb up. But did, once we were on the ridge, once we were like, on the ridge, on it, I thought like, it was uh, easy as pie. You know what I mean? It was no longer fucking just well, kind of like the straight. The views and the adrenaline and everything else made it easy as pie. But I think the actual climbing was probably tougher on the ridge than it was before we got there. You think so? I think it was tough going up there because it's steep the whole way. But like, and I was just flowing. The bro. technicality of the I really ridge. was in that shit because yeah. I don't remember yeah. it being hard. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just remember it was just, hard, but it wasn't exactly. Oh, it wasn't Once easy. Fu- it wasn't easy. It yeah, wasn't exactly. easy, but it wasn't like I was fucking dying. Dying. Like, I was yeah. fucking. I was fucking huffing and puffing. You know what I mean? I was huffing and puffing. I right? think. Well, we had a stop on the. Re- I remember going up Lafayette. I probably stopped like five or six times to catch my breath. Headed up Lafayette. Oh, we definitely did have. And to we stopped with that guy. Fuel. Remember that guy? We we met that guy that was like a crazy white mountain hiker. Ah, uh, he He's been there, fucking. He's been to every like single every peak multiple times, and he hikes only in the winter time. Like we're like, what the fuck? Like this what, what a badass hike. this guy! You know? yeah, this guy's an old man too. <laughs> he like, was an fuck? old man. And he was killing it. I was yeah. like, holy shit! Look at this guy. He's fucking making me look like but a. There's definitely amateur. times where we stopped going up Lafayette, and I feel like we didn't really stop that much the entire way before the ridge. We stopped like maybe like five times the entire hike. That's true, and, and then I we guess stopped like probably like five times on Lafayette. I'm not thinking about <laughs> fucking taking like the fucking pictures and shit and fucking uh, you know, just like you know, when we were stopping, when we were stopping to catch our breath, we were fucking looking and shit. We were fucking taking yeah, pictures. Yeah, it, we it didn't. Our time. It didn't feel like you were stopping because you were also enjoying everything else. And st- but like, we really took our time going up there, and I feel like that's what it must be. We probably had to take our time too because it was tough. Yeah. You know? 
I think I remember going down Lafayette. We couldn't really tell which was the trail oh and which God. wasn't the trail. You know, you you, you look <laughs> the people who were looking at us were probably fucking laughing because we everyone, were down this people crazy going down, steep shit. But we didn't see where to go down. So we were go, we see fucking it's just straight up rocks and this shit is dangerous oh as fuck. Oh my god, is this really the trail? This, this is, is fucking crazy. This is this is like in my mind I'm like, oh, the people who uh fucking Die up here This is where they Fucking probably fall and die, <laughs> This is you know probably I mean? Where they die <laughs> So we're fucking Crawling on our fucking We're like on our asses We're going down Like kind of slow And shit And I was like Holy fuck And it's like Long This fucking rock oh, Thing we went down Super steep Super long And <laughs> once we get past Like we get past Like a couple of rocks That were on Like our uh, our right side And we look And there, here's people Coming down the easy way they're And they're just of, like was, Walking down the trail And I was like, like what, what the fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a bug out moment. Like, I was, uh, I thought, how I was did we not see that trail? So <laughs> shot, you know. If I, <laughs> but on the way down, you know, the way down, I feel like we, I, I think with the people we were with, you know, we were just like, you just follow them, you know what I mean? A, f- a couple times. I think we went the wrong off. way down. We took a long, long, long way down. That was a very it long didn't, way It down. didn't lead to the parking lot. Where, like, it's, it said that it would lead back to freaking where we started. Yeah, we definitely got lost and at some point we ended up going like, there. I think we went like an extra, like, we definitely did way more than we were supposed to. It ended up balls deep, like not near where we were supposed to end. Because with the place where Brittany was supposed to pick us up at is not yeah. where we ended up being. No. We, and like, we came out of like some fucking like side of we the woods. We came out near Cannon like, Mountain. It was, um. The Franconia Notch is with called the ski Cannon lifts Mountain. Shit, huh? where the, the, the ski, ski lifts lifts. When we got out of the there. ski resort of Canyon Cannon Mountain is where we ended up, pretty much. But thank God, you know, thank God we got down there, fucking safe and sound. Dude, the, the, the way out of there was just like down, 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 down forever. Man. Never ended. They fucking down. It's cool down. they have those AMC huts. I always wanted to see one, and we ended uh, up stopping fucking, in, uh, a little AMC hut. For the trail homies. The Appalachian Mountain Club has these huts scattered throughout the White Mountains, and they sell like burritos and shit there, and they actually offer places to stay overnight if you like are backpacking and you need a place. And that's why they have them kind of near like the sketchy areas like the Franconia Ridge. Because like, I don't know, dude. People Let's going, say God forbid you're down. on the Franconia Ridge and there's a lightning and thunderstorm. You're fucking running your ass to the AMC hut and they have to give you a place to stay. Got to get out of there, brother. Point, you know? That's why they're located in certain areas. There's also one near Mount Washington that we saw. The, dude, the next day we went to the fucking Mount Washington. Holy shit. That's another one. But before we get into Mount Washington, I do want to. Uh, Did oh. you find the hammer video? Oh, of course. I found it like <laughs> instantly into this yes, shit. Dude. Let's see right here. Oh, fuck. Get the story, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let me tell you a little something about but He's breaking family. twigs, by the way. Uh-huh. I come from. A very, very long line of hammer times. And you know, my mom always told me, you never want to be the nail. Never. Never that. You want to be the fucking hammer. Tell her. The hammer. Because once you become the hammer, then you become a star. I love this bald Nazi with the red pants showing his tits. And that's, that's where I got all these hammers. He's, he's got, got like six hammers. He's got so many. He's got a fucking... <laughs> fucking bloodline. Fucking bloodline. Fucking oh, my God. <laughs> it's a TV. That's a TV, folks. <laughs> 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 Whoa. They're throwing up middle that, fingers. They're throwing up the blood. Those of you that can't see this guy. They're throwing up the blood you, signs. He looks just like you think he looks. He looks like an Appalachian Mountains person. Oh, dude. He's anorexic <laughs> as shit. He has no muscle to him. And he's a fucking legend, honestly. I fucking love this guy. And... I want to find him. I want to find him and his fucking friends, and I want to give them, uh, you know, a booking. I want to make Double them hammers. I want to make them. I want to give them hammers and say, fucking go at it and uh, do fifth dimension hardcore championship shit with this fucking hammers. Rah. Do some crazy shit. But getting back onto Mount Washington, that was um, the next day. The drive up that fucking mountain. We met some cool folks, by the way. Shout out to those fucking motorcycle guys. Oh, at the fucking uh, at the end. We stayed at this like motel thing. Pretty cool spot actually. We ended up drinking quite a bit. <laughs> having a good having a good old time. I puked my brains out in the morning, folks. Johnny Holy Racky fuck. drank a lot. <laughs> I drank like that whole bottle of fucking the Dave Batista red, white, and blue fucking It's like the, it's like the red, white, and blue USA version of like vodka. My girlfriend loves that shit. And I fucking uh, next thing you know, that fucking bottle was gone. We were she playing was like, cars. We were playing sorry. Having a good old night. Watching watching the, watching the dead. I remember that. It was great. And these guys were staying next door to us. It was like four guys in a room. And they had their bikes outside. Motorcycles. And um, 
They were cool as shit, man. We met them the next morning and we were talking to them. These guys travel around on their motorcycles and just camp out everywhere. Get a room every once in a while. And this was this was the once in a while they got a room, I guess, you know. But they all carry like their backpacking shit on their motorcycles. And they've been everywhere I want to go. I'm like, I want to go to Glacier National Park. Oh, we've been there. <laughs> like, I want to go to Yellowstone. Oh, we've been there plenty of times. And they're telling me all the ins and outs of these parks and shit. And like, pros. what a cool life, man. You know, these guys are out there killing it, dude. They're in their 50s, whatever. I mean, I don't know if they have families or what, if they're just like riders. <laughs> I really don't know, man. But like, that shit was so cool. It was like, damn, a man, couple brothers. Are, and they're all from different areas, too. One guy's from New York, one guy's from Boston. Like, what friends, you know? What, what pals? A crew. What, <laughs> what a crew. <laughs> they were cool. That's but, the life, so th- man. Th- that day we were just like, should we go home? What are we going to do? What time is it? You know, we have a six hour ride back. And I was like, fuck it, man. We have a perfect day. I looked outside. There's like no clouds, no nothing. And I'm like, dude, let's drive to Mount Washington and drive up that shit. Let's see if the Honda Civic can make its way to the top of the highest peak in the Northeast. Can it do it? And, um, spoiler alert, it did make it to the top of the highest peak in the Every Northeast. Received a bumper sticker, ladies and gents. But that shit was so dope, man. And I recommend that, that ride to anyone. Yeah, that was like, Honestly, like I had so much fun hiking, but like that was equally as fun, dude. Like it wasn't equally as fun because I felt like we earned it so much more when we hiked. And like the Franconia Ridge is so cool because it's a view that you can only get by earning it, you know? And like there's only a select people in the entire world that get that view. And it was just the people that were up there on that day because the view changes every single day. Sometimes you can't see shit, you know, too much ex- clouds. Exactly, dude. It's like, that's what it's usually Some people like. travel there and they make that trek up there and they, they don't get that view, you know? it was That view was made for us that day and it just the people that were up there that day. And I guess I guess Mount Washington was too, but it just felt different because like... We truly got blessed going to You can drive up Washington there too, you know? And but you we know did what? get blessed there. You My mean, favorite part of it is when we were up there, you know what I mean? And I am almost positive. I saw someone who was hiking up that thing. I'm pretty sure. Dude, I know for a fact he was doing I think he was, dude. I'm almost positive this man hiked up Mount Washington with one, one fucking one. leg, ladies dude. and gentlemen. Oh, my God, man. That Holy was crazy. Holy shit, bro. I was like, what the he fuck? He really, like, we, like... You can see the hiking trails when you're up there because you're at the summit, you know, and like the auto road is so dope because like you don't have to hike, but like you can drive and like, dude, the thing hooks around the edge of this mountain, bro. You feel like you're going to fall off. That oh, shit, dude. Bro. Many a times you're on the edge of this mountain hooking up. Be pet shit. freaked out <laughs> because, you know, when I looked at I was uh, I was, was covering la- her eyes. I was laughing to a. Uh, it was scary, honestly. You know what I mean? But I'm laughing because uh, <laughs> I'm getting through it. You know what I mean? I'm just cracking up. CJ's cracking up. We're fucking driving up I'm this shit. I'm laughing because I know it, I know it's scary. It's like a that, roller coaster, That's though. like the way you get through it. You know what I mean? And that it's shit was so much fun, though. It was, it was so fun. We were both enjoying the shit right. out of this, at, out any, of the at any rush. point, At any point, this fucking car can fucking, God forbid, tip over. And that's it. You know what I mean? We're going straight down. Dude, but how cool was it going up it, though? You know? Like, it was so cool, man. Like... And you're looking out there, and it's just endless mountains, dude. You're in the the heart of the White Mountains, and like, you're just climbing, climbing, dude. Climbing. As you're climbing up, and you're on the edge of this fucking thing, was it, like it's just endless views, man. And it's like, dude, oh, it was just like it's so crazy, man. It really is such a crazy, crazy drive, and it's so cool. And there's so many places to stop and get out of the car and take pictures and Some look around, look like, places to pull off and whatever. So we did that a couple times on the way down and shit, but. On the way up, my girlfriend was losing her her mind. Oh my god! When and what was it? We fucking. She she's got her face. Co- this is the the best one. She's got her <laughs> face covered with the pillow. She's not looking at anything. She's just fucking. She's done. You know what I mean? She's just she doesn't screaming. Want to see it. She doesn't want to see it. <laughs> Freaking out. Panic attack city. And we. It's like she's. She needs to. She needs some fresh air. She needs a moment. So CJ pulls over to a, a lookout point. Uh, and uh, he turns right, which, and I'm w- which would be going to help her out, give her a, a chance to like catch her breath. And turn, turning right at this point would be off the cliff, you know. But it's a lookout point, so we turn right, we pull off, but she's not looking. So she screams. She feels the car's turn. Bloody murder. <laughs> she thinks we're going off this fucking thing, and she's fucking screaming, screaming, screaming. We're like, holy fuck, what the fuck? And we, she fucking finally figures out, you know, we didn't go off. You know, we're fucking here. And she fucking, she's freaking out. She's like, holy fuck. I thought that was it. You know, my life fucking f- literally flashed before my eyes. I was like, holy shit. You know? Take it easy. Yeah. You know? like, <laughs> like, we got this bumper really sticker. I would fall off this You need shit? to earn that bumper sticker. You can't just They give it, it to you before you climb That's that bullshit. Wall, they should give it to you at the top. It says, it said, the, the sticker says, it's the one you've seen probably on the road a million times. 
this car climbed Mount Washington. It's a pretty cool sticker, man. But they give it to you before it climbs Mount Washington. So some people might just fucking get there, pay for their sticker and leave a couple of fucking gnarly scum, gnarly scum. But we did climb it up and I put that sticker on right at the top of the shit. It was, was a moment. Like, you know I'm I mean? putting this thing. I'm crowning it right here, dude. I'm putting it on. And some gnarly scum next to me in his Jeep is like, <laughs> you really think that's a good idea? <laughs> and I'm like, I look, he's like, you gonna, you really gonna jinx yourself, man? Oh my god! And I'm like, dude, it didn't say I made it up and down. <laughs> the fucking sticker says I climbed Mount Washington. Like, fuck you, dude. I'm putting it on right now. Fuck him. This We're car, up here. yeah, they, straight up, dude. And my car had no problems on that shit. Zero. Zero going down. We had a do SA moment at the top of this mountain, and the views were, uh, they were balls. They were so place. epic, man. They were like. They were probably more epic than the Franconia Ridge views just because of like fucking just the day we had was so crazy. And that perfect. fucking that one spot that we that was spot where we fucking took pictures, fucking oh, uh, yeah. I took that picture with my arms out like Jesus Christ himself. <laughs> that spot was some fucking crazy. It's like shit. this ledge that just leads off to the top of the mountain and it's like, oh man, you can just like look over the edge. It's like it was like like the rock and the lion king, you know? And you're uh, just it was looking out rock over shit, freaking you know? Over the over New Hampshire, man, like over the Northeast, bro. You can see the Adirondacks from up there, bro. It's so crazy. You're dude. looking out far. You can see, oh my god, you're you can up, see Vermont, you can see far. New York, you can see all of New Hampshire. It's just like what a spot, man. You know, that was so crazy, man. It was a crazy, crazy weekend, and it really made me fall in love with the White Mountains. And like now, you've been doing this like ever since. You've been I'm, going like every week. Oh, no. dude, since that since that trip i have been going to the mountains pretty much every weekend no lie like fuck yeah if not every weekend every other weekend i've gone to the mountains by myself just gone just getting it in you fuck know? just fucking doing it doing it live you know yeah i mean i have I, I, I came up with these goals man and i have like this uh you know i want to hike the 115 peaks in the northeast that are over 4,000 feet there's 115 of them how many have you done uh I think I've just done. Oh, I've did one in the Adirondacks, and I did the two we did together. Cause they don't fucking count Little Haystack as a peak, which is bullshit, man. How dare they That's disrespect bullshit. Little Haystack like that? But so it, t- technically, it just counts for Lincoln and Lafayette. So I did bullshit. those two, and I have one in the Adirondacks now. Even yeah, I MBJ, mean, he's got fucking two of them, bitch. Yeah. How many do you have, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, dude. How many do you have? I got two of them, but I want to try and do more this year in the White Mountains. I want to go back there, and I want to, um, I want to climb Mount Washington with my feet, dude. I want to, I want to climb all the ones next to it. There's a trail called the, uh, the Presidential, the presidential Traverse Trail, and it goes over like, remember the ones we saw? Like, we were on the drive and we stopped, and we we're like, wow, that one looks crazy. It was like, I think it's called Jefferson, and it's just like a straight up fucking like, oh, it looks so gnarly. It was like right next to Washington. Thomas. But I want to do all of them. And there's a trail that goes over all of them. You can do like, I think you get eight of them in a 30 mile trail. Holy and I'll, I'll make it like a two day, three day trip. You know, I'll camp out. I have a, I have a whole new setup. I'm looking forward to try this year. Yeah. That's fucking, that's the shit that would, uh, like I'm all for camp. I've gone camping, you know, many, I haven't done it in many years, but I used to camp in, uh, the Catskills, you know, at a spot, you know what I mean? I, I feel like you would place. like this fucking balls deep camping but fucking, shit, man. That shit. It's, um, you know, Johnny Racky watches a bunch of fucking those horror slasher team movies, you know, you're in the fucking <laughs> woods and you're getting fucking fucked up. So this is all that's in my, fu- I watch that shit like every night. This is all that's in my head when I'm thinking about CJ balls deep in the woods and some fucking, I'm like, somebody's going to fucking get the, the Sasquatch himself. I'm thinking about carrying person. something on me, not a gun, obviously, but like, I'm thinking about carrying a, a, a hatchet or something, you know? Oh my God. Just a in tomahawk? case, man, you know, a tomahawk, dude. I think I'm about doing that just in case or a Tom- knife, you know, just One to have it. The fucking hammer. I'm more. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be the nail. But people are always like, "Oh, you're afraid of bears and shit." And like, I'm afraid of I'm afraid of ticks and I'm afraid of people. Those are the two things, man. I don't want Lyme's disease. And oh, I don't yeah. want some fucking wook coming over there and fucking trying to steal my shit in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> some dirty fucking hippie on a fucking rainbow, what is it called? The rainbow gatherings? Uh, asking me to borrow everything I have, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't borrow my house, dude. Can I borrow your uh, your home for oh, the night? Dude, I'm in the city today working. I didn't know this, but uh, did you know that like a there's a hotel in the city right now that is like 
has 230 homeless people living in it, dude. For and they're what? Like, <laughs> How'd they get in there? <laughs> they're mandated by Governor Cuomo to live in this hotel. Hey, fuck yeah. And they're like, oh, fucking coronavirus. We need to get them off the street and shit. Like, and all this shit. Whatever. And then what, Cuomo? Are you going to throw them back on the street, you <laughs> cocksucker? <laughs> motherfucker? <laughs> dude. I'm gonna throw them back on the street. Are they feeding them? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I think so. I think they're feeding them and housing them. They're complimentary breakfast. Good for that, but no fucking uh, NYWC shows, right? I can't wrestle in New York. Well, isn't it crazy? Like, I was just thinking that though like the hotel is still open i think right like for regular people yeah i'm gonna fucking go stay there so with are, the, are the prices like lowered and shit or is it like full price it's spend like, a night it's like, oh, next no, no, to no. a whole <laughs> fucking <laughs> dirty <laughs> work <laughs> you're paying a couple of homeless people 200 a night to stay in new york city but the two first floors and the second floor smell like piss oh dude they're fucking <laughs> they're, they, don't, they don't even go to the bathroom they're just pissing in the fucking corner of the room you know what i mean they're just fucking whipping it out fucking pissing on the carpet you know, some of these people, I, I don't know. You ever be to a fucking, I was with fucking people one time. I don't even want to fucking say it. Oh, I'm going to, I'm not going to fucking say where it was or anything, but we were in a fucking. A walk uh, den? Pretty much. It was a walk <laughs> den. You know what I mean? We were just hanging out in this fucking hotel room and these people fucking just started fucking smoking cigarettes. Fucking they're, they're spilling beer all over the place. In the hotel room? They're, and they're ashing on the floor. What? <laughs> In the hotel room? I was like, what the fuck are these people doing? You don't even live here. I, I, that's what I'm saying. And these, fucking, uh, uh, these are the people that would fucking <laughs> piss in the corner. You know what I mean? So if these are the fucking... I don't think any of those people were homeless that were ashing on the floor in there, but maybe they were. It, it, it was possibly a walk down. You know what I mean? So somebody could have been homeless in there, but I don't think anyone pissed in the know, floor. People really fucking... That's the thing, you know. They've been in there for like months now, you know? This is their new house. And like now they're trying to come up with a... This hotel's getting fed up with it. They're like, what the fuck? So Cuomo's trying to find another hotel to transfer them to. Oh, my God. And it's like, dude, like, what hotel wants that, dude? Nobody. You know? You, if no you're a hotel owner and this guy just mandates that you keep a bunch of homeless men in your fucking hotel. I'd say, fuck you, buddy. I'm not doing it. No, I'm not doing it, Cuomo. <laughs> That's nuts, man. You know? What the fuck? I don't know, dude. Maybe it's Go me, see a know? Fifth Dimension Studios. We'll fucking That's hold a few That's not fair to the maids. That's not fair to anybody that works in that hotel or any of the paying customers. You know, we got to find a new solution for that. Why don't we, we build do? a homeless hotel that's oh made God. just for the homeless people? Like the movie about the, the hotel for dogs. They have all the dogs. Well, just do it with the fucking people. Honestly, Portland just legalized fucking meth. Why, why don't they start walking to Portland, dude? It'll, it'll, literally, it'll only take them six months. Why we I, go honestly, there? Want, I want to walk to Oregon, so I'll fucking walk with these people. I will lead a gang of homeless people to Oregon. I'll put that out there right now. If these guys <laughs> want to walk to the land of free meth, I'll fucking walk to Oregon with them, and I'll lead them on a fucking hike. Wait, free meth or legal meth? <laughs> <laughs> it's not free meth, dude. It's not free. I'm sorry. I misworded that. <laughs> it's not free meth, but it's the land of legal meth. Holy shit. Like, uh, dude, well, we're, but 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 we're gonna gonna, but, but the uh, gyms are closed though, dude. Oh, we can't. <laughs> I can't go to the gyms, but fucking this hotel is a wook den for you can, homeless you people. You can stand outside the the fucking gym and shoot heroin, but <laughs> if you touch a dumbbell, you're going to jail. <laughs> and dude, and the churches are closed. I went, when I went to Boston uh, over the summer during coronavirus shutdown, the churches <laughs> were fucking closed, right? And I'm sitting out on a fucking balcony, and I'm looking over. At, it's right across from a church, and I'm looking down. Some guy's shooting up on the church steps. You know, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, man, but dude. you can't go to church, man, for Jesus Christ. Like, and, uh, some of the churches in the city, I mean, in uh, in Philadelphia, are really like disgusting. Like, there's one church specifically, and it's right near um, the the convention center. And I stay there a lot because, like, I don't know, it's like right in the heart of the city. But it's like a homeless community right in that area, dude. And it's like a there's a place where they feed them there, like a soup kitchen. So they all like chill there, and there's like a church. I don't even know. It's not a. It's not Jesus Christ. It is Jesus Christ, but it's not like it's the Church of the Homeless. It's folks. like it's not Lutheran. It's not Christian. It's not Catholic. It's like it's called Congressional Church. I don't know what Congressional stands for, it's but it's dude. I'm fucking... telling you right now, there's like a hundred homeless people lo- like laying on top of each other outside on, the and, church, and the church looks dirty as fuck. I would say get the on the outside of it. Here. This place is for GC and, it's, I don't know, and the it's boys. Crazy, dude. Down the block is a Scientology place, though. And I went in there one time and asked the guy for a pamphlet just because I wanted to see what he looked like and shit. <laughs> I was like, is he, is he a lizard? <laughs> is he a lizard person? Is this Tom, on, is Tom Cruise in there? Oh, no, no, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bad things happen in Philadelphia, man. That's what Trump said. I think he's right. They fucking pretty much admitted to a uh, fraudulent election over there. 
what the fuck is going on in this country now? We are fucking almost like I feel like we we are about almost on, we're 20 days pretty much. We are 20 days exactly from uh, election as we're recording this. So this is 20 days of what we are seeing. Wait, is this 20 days after the election? Today, yeah. Wow. The election has gone by and it's still going on. If you are fucking looking back on this years later, folks, 20 days after it's still going on. They have said Joe Biden is the winner. But Trump and his gang, Rudy Giuliani, with his fucking dripping <laughs> hair dye. He's dripping down mascara. Dude. And all this shit. He, they, he's, they're saying they got stuff. And what did you say? You said Philadelphia fucking said there is fraud? Philadelphia admitted to fraudulence, yeah. I mean, what? they're not even fraud? hiding it in Philadelphia, dude. So, and if this is, if this is going on in one place, and, and I've also heard that... It is true that there are fucking deceased people voting. It is true that there are these machines. That I don't know. Are- There's got to be a conflict of interest, though. The fact that like uh, Nancy Pelosi's husband is the person that created all these voting machines. Oh, good morning, like, Sunday morning. Like, like, what the fuck? Dude? How, how is that not a conflict of interest? You know? How is that? You how know is I mean? anyone related to any political party allowed to make the fucking voting machines? That's fucking some bullshit. And the fucking th- the thing is, the other side is gonna be like, oh no, why? It's not Nancy. It's not her husband. No, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't cheat. They just make you feel like you're a super conspiracy theorist. But it's like I don't know. I'm just asking valid questions. Oh, it's like oh, why? How is that not a po- conflict of oh, interest? You're just a you're just an Alex Jones listener. This and that. But meanwhile, almost everything he says happens to be fucking true. He's talking about Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, has got child porn on his fucking computer. For Christ's sake. And fucking the, the news is saying they're not going after him because uh, they feel bad that he was doing drugs. Fuck you and your child porn, bro. I believe that shit because this guy is saying fucking, I don't know who else is reporting. Hunter Biden it. right now is having a field day in Portland, Oregon, dude. He's over there fucking on the Oregon Trail right now. <laughs> He's walking, he's walking these fucking homeless people from New York over there. He's taking your, he's taking your gimmick right now. He's like, I'll walk you to the land of the meth. Home of the free, baby. And they're fucking anti-American. Yeah, like, what the hell, man? Like, it's, like, cool to be anti-American now. What the fuck? That everybody, shit is pissing me off. Everybody had patriotism a couple of months ago when it was fucking September 11th. We love America. But now it's like, oh, now it's the cool thing to post about fuck America. Like, meanwhile, go, to, go somewhere else and you will be like, Jesus Christ, I'm so sorry. You know what I mean? Like, there are other places. Like, there's other places that are okay to go to. But you go to some of these fucking third world fucking countries, bro. They don't even have a fucking iPhone. My guy, try fucking living your life with no fucking iPhone. Dude, these people can't even fucking, they don't even know how to go without GPS, bro. They That's don't even know how to, they would get lost going to the pizzeria, dude, if there wasn't a fucking GPS in their fucking hand, dude. And, you know, they're going to complain. And you know what? Like, that's the funny thing, because people people fucking like to throw around uh, the whole, like, white privilege thing. You're white. Like, they, they're, you're a Republican. They're like, you're white privilege. You don't get it. You're white privilege. You don't get it. Uh, but then these are the same people that are saying, fuck America. You're white privilege, then you don't get it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. No, that's so true, dude. That, 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 really, that really is so true. <laughs> like... What you just said there is 100% true. Which is crazy they're, to like, me. That they're, these- they're trying to tell you that you're a white person and you don't get it. And they're saying, fuck America, dude. They this are place- so privileged that they don't have to realize. They don't even know what the fuck kind of evil is out there, dude. <laughs> they don't even know what the fuck and they like, have. these people that are fucking dying every day protecting our fucking freedoms and shit. And like we had guys, like, come on, man. And all these people, they like, fucking- Our they- grandparents fucking got drafted to war, bro. Imagine being 18 years old, 19 years old, thinking you're going to be a doctor. Eh, sorry, guess, guess what, dude? Here's a fucking AK. Yeah, good luck. Get over there. You know? In the fucking, in the fucking and, and world that we live in now. And there's actresses spinning on them, dude. That's the kind of shit, like, the fucking, these people don't fucking get it, bro. They don't get it. Because and they're, like, too, you know, they're too privileged they, they, are, they, they really are privileged, man. You're fucking, you're so sheltered by all these things that make life so fucking easy it's so easy to be a person in 2020 dude it's so easy to be an american you don't have to think you don't have to fucking use common sense because you have everything in the palm of your hand you have unlimited access to information and fucking zero need or will or desire to to fucking actually think or fucking do things yourself dude you know and it's like fucking i don't know you you look at everything in the world and that's like really what the problem is like you know like fucking you look at the buildings and shit like even in 1950s, if you wanted to make a chair, you had to fucking know how to. You had to look up books and read about woodwork and and all this. You had to learn this shit and fucking figure it out. You now you can just watch a YouTube video and have a chair built, 
And that's something that still requires you to fucking think and put work into it. Not e- not even everyone could watch a YouTube video and figure that out. You yeah, know? yeah. And, but and like fucking, Vikings were building ships with fucking no tools, no power tools, dude. And they're building Viking ships. And you got fucking your iPhone, buddy. And you fucking you're not living somewhere that you have to chase down the chicken, cut off the chicken's head, fucking feather the chicken, fucking cook the chicken so you can eat tonight. You're just gonna go to fucking McDonald's and eat a fucking yes. Yeah, so you don't have to think about salad. it. You know what I mean? You don't realize like fucking the life and death that surrounds us, and like there's death everywhere, man. You know, you're every time you eat something, something else had to die and fucking sacrifice his life for you to eat that shit. And it's like you don't even, they don't even fucking respect it or think about it. Or anything. They just, you know, they just shove it down their fucking gullet with a fucking large fucking Coke and go about their fucking day. Back to their iPhone. Back to TikTok. Let's see what kind of fucking sexy girls can fucking take away and distract my fucking time. And I think it's really all about this at the end of the day. You know what I mean? When they're, they're fucking, they're dome. They're fucking, their eyes are closed. You know what I mean? These people are not awake. They're like, they're not seeing life the way that it really and these is people will, you know? like, talk down the hunters and shit too like if you're like god forbid you fucking want to hunt to support your family and fucking feed your fucking kids and you want a gun to protect yourself these people will try to make you sound like you're fucking stupid or you're evil or you're sucking oh how dare you kill an animal but they'll fucking go order fucking 10 big macs dude yeah come on man yo what uh, about that cow you know just just because you hired a fucking hitman dressed up as ronald mcdonald you know, like, what the fuck, dude? That doesn't mean that you're not a part of it, dude. The Ronald McDonald hitman. You know, you're hiring a fucking supermarket hitman to kill all your fucking food for you. You know what I mean? And there's someone out there that's doing it himself. His, his are the only hands that touch that shit. You know, when you go to the supermarket. You know, these people, they're not okay with hunting, but they're okay with uh, <laughs> these fucking mass fucking factories oh, yeah, just like yeah. fucking these animals shitting on themselves and being abused and exactly fucking, dude but it's they're like, okay with that and they're pumping, they're pumping them up with chemicals and hormones and shit they're fucking touching it they're doing you know that food that meat gets processed by fucking eight different hands before it ends up on your fucking plate disgusting when you're out in the woods and you fucking take something you know and you put an animal down that's yours that's yours man it's, you're the only hands that are on that meat you know what I mean that's pure right out of the fucking wilderness that's like Oh my! You know what I mean? That's like that's the way that men have survived for thousands of years, and now they're trying to demasculate men and have a society where well, it's just we ho- can't. It's this whole ourselves. other side. You know what I mean? They it's, don't even want. They don't even want fucking like it. Just like like being a man is like not okay anymore. Being a man you know is not I mean? okay. Being, yeah, being they, like they, being they a man. Wanna, you know, you tell somebody like honestly, like I don't like. Sometimes I might fucking Johnny Racky might break down to himself while he's fucking locked up in his room, but Johnny Racky is not fucking out in public trying to let people know fucking. And he's crying like a bitch. You know why? Because he's trying to be a man. <laughs> you know. <what> I mean? <laughs> but if you tell someone that, they're like, oh, "You can't tell your kids that. You can't tell your kids be a man." Here's it's the not thing. The society uh, here, here, here's the thing, though. It's like it's like fucking misogynistic messiah. Uh, men are supposed to be fucking tough and providers and strong and fucking you know they're supposed to hold their own. You know what I mean? And that's how we've gotten to this fucking point that we've gotten to, man. You know, like we wouldn't be where we are in society if it wasn't for fucking men being men and women being women. And they're trying to flip it all upside down, and oh, it doesn't matter what you are, and be, you know what I mean? And fucking, it doesn't fucking whatever. We don't need men, no, but we actually do. And fucking, there aren't any fucking men left because they're all cucked out on 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 TikTok, looking at fucking people shaking their asses and cheating on their fucking wives and fucking doing. They're not fucking being men. They're not staying with their families. They're not raising children. They're fucking putting an iPad in their kid's face and fucking letting fucking Steve Jobs raise their raise their kid for them while they fucking go watch porn. That's that's what the men are doing. Like, so, you know, and a couple hundred, like, not even a couple hundred years ago, but I'm talking fucking thirty years ago, even thirty years ago, when you, you know, you still had to be a fucking man. You know, there was no phones. You had to know how to fucking navigate yourself. And if you if you wanted to drive upstate and do something, you had to figure figure it the fuck out. You know. I say now, good, good you know, luck, you know what I mean? Good now, luck to these people now, growing up. Now there's men that fucking can't even fucking drive down the street. They can't even drive to Farmingdale without getting lost because they fucking need a GPS in their hand, dude. They need, know. They need fucking they need a map to tell them everything. And that's the the technology is so good because it's so helpful and it can help like it is like it is a good thing. I'm not saying technology is all bad, but you need to be self-sufficient and you need to fi- it makes it tougher to be self-sufficient. And it, it takes a real man to fucking Still be self-sufficient and in a world of technology and be able to use both worlds to their advantage. And I think that's like 
that's like where it's at, man. You know, and like it's tough to fucking it's tough, but like, I I don't know, like. Trying to make a point here, I, I just can't. I don't know what I'm trying to say. You know, is that, but we're, uh, basically we're saying don't say, don't raise your children to be liberal. They want you folks. to fucking be that way because this is the thing. Like things are things are the way they are because they want you to be so reliant on their on the world is created to keep you reliant on something else outside yourself, and that puts you in a mind state of blaming other people for your problems, of not accepting full responsibility. Oh, my fucking phone died. Oh, this happened. Oh, this. No, no, no. It's on you, dude. <laughs> it's on you. And it's not your fucking government's fault. It's not the fucking president's fault. It's no one's fucking fault but your own. And, like, the way that our world is set up, it's supposed to make you reliant on so many goddamn things that you never look in the mirror because you don't have to look in the mirror. All you have is all the things around you. And fucking you'll be so reliant on that shit that the government can say, oh, well, We'll just give you more. We'll just, you know, we'll, we'll just reach out our hand that you so desperately need because you so, you're such a lazy sack of shit and you're so incapable of fucking, you can't even put on a pair of fucking underwear. So here, take our government hand and we'll give you free underwear and we'll give you a fucking free everything because you're too fucking useless to do it yourself. And now you want, you got, you, they want a whole society of people that fucking need that hand and that fucking, because they have no other fucking option. Because they they literally are that goddamn useless. And that's how we get the soiling clean, and, man. And that's why you cannot let that happen. You cannot let yourself become so fucking useless that you need the government, that you need other things to fucking provide for you. Fuck the government. You should be able to provide for yourself as a man in America and as a fucking, as a family, you know? I'm not just saying, I know, oh, maybe I sound sexist, but... Oh, and guess what, dude? You know, this goes for females, too. You need to be self-sufficient. You need to fucking figure this shit out. You need to be a hunter. You shouldn't be in relying. World of sheep. You shouldn't be relying. Nobody in America should be relying on the fucking government to fucking make or break their fucking day. And I don't understand why I'm seeing so much of that. <laughs> I don't know. It's just because Don Donald Trump makes people go crazy. They fucking... That one guy, that orange man, makes people fucking... Lose their shit But the thing is He's not it's really media, He's not doing bro. anything It's the media He's, he's not doing PR anything company. Somebody On TV Is telling you Or fucking Some fucking shit On the fucking Internet What is Donald Trump doing For your life man You know like seriously Exactly like, that, that he's fucking Destroying The fucking Country These people say They're crying How, how? You That's, know? They have no fucking It's just a bunch of Fucking malarkey Media propaganda Fucking bullshit At the end of the day You break it down It's all bullshit dude If you if you look at all the reasons Of how he's fucking up the country And what he's doing That's so horribly wrong It all comes down To fucking people Being fucked up And people being people And it's all the, These people fucking you know? They have this like Different like views And shit Everyone's right? Or they flawed, also they, they also try to blame him For shit that like Other people do You know what I mean Or other people did They're saying Oh it's his fault It's his fault Just cause they fucking they just hate the gimmick of fucking who he is so much. And so I've never seen that before. Is this the guy so that crazy. loves America? That's the know? thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> I fucking, I love him because he's about fucking the United States of America. And he's not part of this fucking system of these fucking pedophile cucks who are fucking literally destroying the country. But you just think that fucking Cheeto Man is. But meanwhile, he's not fucking really doing anything bad. He's doing a lot of good shit. Until coronavirus came and fucking that man. Honestly, if he, if this fucking shit doesn't get overturned, which I kind of think it might. Maybe happen, dude. I don't know. Let's talk about that because like, if it does get overturned, what's gonna happen to America? Civil war, hundred percent. Civil war going down. People are going to riot. And I feel like the, the city, is New York like, City, is gonna be just built, burnt down, burnt down. I'll tell you what. I was in New York City today. I worked in the Manhattan this morning, and there's still a lot of fucking nice stores that are completely boarded up. Yeah, it's still boarded up, huh? Because they know, they know that fucking. I feel if this fucking fake voting bullshit is real, and it's looking like it is. And this shit comes down to it, and it's gonna fucking. How can you riot though? Like that's the thing. That's it's the like, thing. You're gonna, dude, you're, 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 you're you side. voted for cheaters, bro. Your side cheated. You voted for them. If and it comes out that, that they, they really did cheat and they really did rig the election, and they are just as bad as everything they accused Donald Trump of being for the last four years, how the fuck can you even be upset about that? The crazy dude? thing is, you, I like, like that's it. That, that's fucking. You know, if that's I think what about happens, it. That's it. You this know? man is full boogie, talking about he's got shit. He's got shit. He's I think got it's shit. at a point. If he didn't, it's at a point where didn't Americans have anything, need to know why would he this say shit he is, had something. You know, I mean, you could say whatever you want. Oh, Donald Trump's a baby for not conceding. Why doesn't he just concede already? Why doesn't he just concede already? It's at nah. It's at a point 
when Americans they tried to impeach him over something he know. didn't even they do. They feel like they we des- we deserve to know the truth. And I want to see it go to court. And if they say that it's all bullshit and they say that oh no, everything was fair, then everything was fair and that's it. But as an American, I feel like we have the fucking right to know. And it's been 20 days. So, let's call a winner. If it's Biden, it's Biden. Great. If it's Trump, it's Trump. The news is saying. I want to see who fucking wins this shit. I want this shit. I want to know. And and you're telling me Philadelphia. They got fucking fraud votes. I want to know where this fucking fraud voting is. I want to see. George is recounting again today for the third time. Where is this shit and is it going to go? They're saying saying they have shit. They have shit. They're fucking going to bring it to the court. They're not going to fucking. Why would, like any fucking court case, why would you just fucking drop that shit before you get to court so they can fucking try to cover their tracks even more. You know what I mean? So I, if this shit is true, and I just don't know why they would keep saying we have shit, we have shit, we have shit, if they don't have shit. You know what I mean? Because if you don't at the end of the day, now you look like a fucking jackass. Now you look stupid. And if you fucking, like, you can't, I, 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 I don't know. I've never seen that shit before. You know what I mean? And they're saying they got shit. We'll see, man. You know? We'll see. But I'm down for whoever wins. Whoever wins is wins. You know, whoever it. wins. Listen, and I'm like, a fucking it, white you know, man. I'm a white man in Long Island. Nothing is going to change for me. So at the end of the day. No, nothing. My life Nothing's going to change for any fucking buddy, dude. <laughs> no, it's not. Nothing is going to change for what anybody. What did Obama do for anybody? Dude? You know, nothing. I know. Like, you, you blew We've up a bunch of people on the fucking people. Middle East. We've had multiple different fucking people from different parties as president in my lifetime. Nothing's ever fucking changed. And now you have another guy. That's going to go in there and change nothing except maybe fucking raise your prices up of taxes and cost of living. And your gas and is going to be $5,000 People that down. are saying, oh, why are you worried about the taxes going up? He's only raising taxes for people that make $400,000 a year. Are you one of those people? No, I'm not. But I probably work for one of those people and you probably work for one of those people too. And if you think that it's not going to have a trickle effect down to the lowest man... And you're fucking dumb. It always does. You're dumb, dude. When that you're shit happens, me- when that shit happens, people get laid off. People get fu- people lose their jobs. People get fucking pay cuts. That's called that's, a recession, motherfucker. That's, what happens, that's where we're going with this when shit. You fucking, it's a when recession. You, when you tax the top guys, even though oh they're billionaires, oh I get it, dude. I get it. But it trickles down I to get you. It. That's exactly what's gonna happen, dude. They're gonna find ways to keep their fucking money, and they're gonna find ways to keep getting it from the fucking guys underneath. And these people aren't gonna lose their money because fucking. Because Biden says fucking because he oh, said 70% shit. tax cut. You know what? You're no. going to lose you're going to lose your job. We're gonna- <laughs> and you're going to be unemployed. And you're not going to get That's fucking really- coronavirus. You're not going to get coronavirus unemployment, the Trump gimmick. You're going to get nothing. You're going to get fucking shit money for that shit. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And then you're going to be fucked and you're going to be like, "Oh my god, fucking blah, 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 blah. who are we going to fucking whose fault is it now? Huh? Whose fault is it now?" Fucking, but that, like, oh, it's not know, Joe like Biden. They right? just announced like fucking uh, LA defunded the police. Everyone's been asking to defund the police. Did you see what they defunded? The, what? The police? They defunded the fucking... There's certain segments of the police. There's not like... LA pol- They're not going to just defund the fucking LA police, dude. Oh, they're they're, you know? they're going to cut fucking But probably. they cut down the fucking animal cruelty fucking uh, section of it. Wow. They, cru- they cut down the fucking domestic dispute section of it. Uh, they cut down the homeless fucking section of it. Uh, they cut down the fucking uh, sexual predator fucking section of oh. it. Oh! So, you know... Oh, defund the police. Okay, great. That's that's what they're taking away. When they when you say defund the police, you mean cut their services down and give them less money. Well, guess what services are the first to go? The fucking pedophilia ones, the fucking the, the poor homeless animals, ones, the poor the animals that animal can't defend ones. themselves. Like, exactly, dude. Those are the first These ones to go. These kids that can't defend themselves. So, you know, and you know, LA, we're going to see what happens to LA, but I think they're going to get exactly what the fuck they signed up for. Yeah, 100%. That's uh that's fucking what that that's what happens, you know what I mean? They they think that oh, this is this is the change we need. This is the change we need. We need to we we want it's not the change we need, and it's going to just end up uh backfiring in the long run, and that's that's fucking karma, bitch. I mean, we'll see, you know, you, you don't know until you know, you know, but they're, they're that's, doing that's it. The so. only, yeah, it's happening. So we'll it, see what happens, so these know? cases are going to fucking probably rise. You look at the fucking cities that are doing this shit and they have the most fucking homeless people. They have the most like drug problems, the most crime. It's like, I don't know, man. It's crazy. Like Chicago's like worse than any other place, you know, San Francisco, L.A., like. I don't know. New York City. It's just crazy. How are these, you, fucking New York Demo- City, how are these Democrats? It's crazy how you look at the fucking map, though, and like, 
Like New York City is the only place in New York State that voted Democrat. I know. All of the rest of the state is and red. And the whole state is Democrat. What the fuck? Yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> it's like because they're up. living on fucking on top of each other like fucking rats in fucking the city. And there's so many of them there that they fucking apparently speak for all of us. Because they need that's the fucking the, they need the handouts, dude. You that's know, the like, fucking that's how it is, man. I don't know. It. it that's why, that's why we didn't vote for Nancy Gore. That's why we got Lee Zeldin up in Long Island. Thank God. No Nancy. No fucking Nancy. Lee right. Zeldin won? Yeah, Lee Zeldin won they by fucking 60% it. of the vote. She, Nancy Gore. How could you fucking vote for Nancy Gore? I found You look at her commercials. Like, I don't want to defund the police. He's lying. Fuck you. You want to defund the police. You fucking got fucking anti-fucking police uh, propaganda on your gimmick. Get out of here. Don't lie to me, you Nancy Groff. Get out of here. I vote for Lee's out. Look, I don't, I don't fucking around. like the police at all. You know what I mean? I don't like uh, the I'm police not, more than anybody. I don't I, like the I, cops. I don't think they're fucking there to help protect and serve us. You know, when I see a cop, I get more on edge than I do, which is weird because, like, these people are supposed to be protectors of the community, people you look up to, people that you have a, you well, know, here's a the brother thing, in. You know, it's a fucking, and whenever uh, I see a cop, I get on edge, dude. It's a stigma, bro. It's fucking like, uh, it's a, uh, what, what is it called? What's the word? Stereotype. You know, it's a stereotype of the cops that they fucking portray to you to fucking fear them. You know, they they want you to fear them so you can defund them. And then your fucking shit's going to crumble. And then you're going to be relying on the government. It's just a whole game. It's a whole propaganda fucking bullshit in the end, I feel like, you know. And that's no conspiracy gimmick. It's just like looking at it as fucking somebody. That's how I just think it's. Uh, I just it's want a world where everyone does their best, you know, where everyone accepts their role for whatever it is, no matter how small or whatever it is. You know, I accept my role. Whatever the fuck it is, I'm a fucking glazier. I go to work every day. I don't take any days off. I work hard. I do my job. I come home and I fucking then I do whatever I want to do when I get home. It's it's an it's an amazing thing. I play the banjo. I fucking work out. I run. I hike on the weekends. You know, why can't everyone just fucking do their own thing and try their best and fucking accept their role and just try their best and and you know, be a part of the system, man. You know. Like fall in line. I don't know. I'm not saying fall in like the thing is like fucking. I don't want you to fucking be relying on the system and like oh whatever. But like be a fucking American, dude. You know, like do your part, man. You know, we're all in this together, and like make this place great. Freedom doesn't come cheap. The only way we can make the place great is if every single person is just on their best, like being their best self. And like the way I like when I think of like my best self, I see someone that's self sufficient and can do everything on their own. You know, and like if my boss said you're fucking fired. I should be able to fucking survive on my own and, you know, have my own fucking food, water. All. I'm a self-sufficient. I want to be a self-sufficient human being. And that's my goal, you know. It doesn't have to be everyone's goal, you know, whatever. But, like, I think everyone, I don't want to ever be so, so dependent that when shit hits the fan, I need to go sign up at a FEMA camp and get my Joe Biden stamp and fucking get my fucking chip in my dome piece to get food. Thank you, Gates. Unreal. What do you hear? Did you hear the rumor a couple of weeks ago that uh, Ticketmaster? Did you hear about that? What about Ticketmaster? They're, oh, we got to get a coronavirus vaccine. They're planning on having in. vaccine in order to buy tickets. Yeah, I, yeah we'll see that uh, if that plays out. You know what I mean? For the for the Grateful Dead, I'll get a fucking for the Dead and Company, motherfucker. I'll get a vaccine if you fucking force me to do that shit. That might be the only way to get me to get a vaccine. If Bob Weir wants me to get <laughs> fucking vaxxed. I'll fucking do it. You know, I fucking voted. They tell me to vote. I voted. But Donald, <laughs> no, but fucking. I will, I will get a vaccine if I can go see the fucking concert, you know. I'll get a vaccine if I have to fucking wrestle. I'm fucking over this fucking bullshit, you know. I'll fucking still wear my mask if I have to. I hate the mask. I'll do it, but I just, uh, I'm over it at this point, you know what I mean? I'm really, I'm done. I'm ready to move on. I, it's been long enough. It's basically been a year at this fucking point. The Adobe subscription just ended, and we fucking started. When this shit started off, I was calling it the Rona. I don't think anyone calls it the Rona anymore. It's the vid. I don't even think anyone calls it Corona anymore. It's always COVID-19. The COVID, vid. COVID. I right, listen. I fucking haven't gotten the vid the whole time that we've been here. Neither you know? have I. So where the fuck is it, bro? Where the fuck is the vid? And if I got the I'm vid, I'm ready I think, for it. I think I'd survive the vid. Honestly, I'm I'm ready to get two rounds of the vid. I'm ready. Guy to get- my job had the vid, and uh, didn't tell nobody and came to work. Sick. He needed that money, right? Well, he didn't even know he had it, uh, dude. He his was girlfriend, asymptomatic. His girlfriend was really sick and shit, and like, he got sick. He came to work. She had the vid. He got tested. He had antibodies. And he worked with us in the van with us, and a couple other guys in my job said they got a little bit of a cough, and like oh, they all got I don't know they he, got the vid. 
This is this is like months ago. This is like two months ago. And everyone's fine. No one even missed a day of work. But two guys in my job have antibodies for it. Unreal. So did they get the vid and, and fucking spread? I don't know. No they one got the no vid. Guy. They didn't know they got the vid. The thing is, the vid is a problematic in my life. My sister deals. Uh, she like goes to school and she's in the hospitals uh, with these fucking vid patients. My mom works in a hospital with vid patients. And, uh, you know, this whole time, I've never gotten the vid. They've never gotten the vid. Where is the vid, folks? Where is? I'm over it. You know, I'll keep my mask on. I'll do things. Maybe if we got to socially distance, I'll fucking socially distance. But open shit up, Cuomo, for yeah, fuck's sake, bro. I want to go to concerts. Bro. I want to go to concerts in 2021, man. I'm not trying to fucking not do that shit anymore, bro. I'm trying I to see these bands play that tunes for us. I'm trying dude. to get back to it, man. I'm trying to have a good time. I'm not trying to fucking sit on my ass and let my fucking. And I want to wrestle, dude. Dude, I want to wrestle so bad, man. I want the fucking people to go. Hey, buddy, oh, the what's the other ones they do for us? They go, let's get high. Let's go. I love that one. That guy. I want to hear people say, let's get high. I want to, I want to, what's the, oh, there's one more. Let's get high and fucking, oh, fucking what is it? They, fifth fuck, Dimension? No, 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 Fifth Dimension. There's something else. Fucking, what the fuck is it? Why, oh, my God. It's on the fucking tip of my tongue. It's in fucking so many of my matches. How the fuck do I not? I think this year I want to yell. I want, I want to be yelling out to the crowd. Are you guys balls deep? And I want them to yell back. We're balls deep. We're balls deep. I would, like that. Would I would like a little we're balls If the deep, whole crowd is balls deep in the fifth and they're yelling at us, at us letting us know, like, we're balls deep. <laughs> I would I would really love that. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. That's a chant I can go for. With their fucking masks on, dude. <laughs> when we get back to wrestling live, you guys all better have your masks on. If you sick fuck spit on <laughs> me. If you could wear a mask for eight months because Cuomo told you to, you could put on a mask because the psychedelic Sasquatch told you to during, the, during our matches for... Put on your fucking mask. For a good 8 to 10? You can wear those masks for a good 8 to 10 <laughs> while we're out there performing for, for you guys. A couple high spots. Pop, pop. A couple of them. Why not? For the groovy grizzly. A for fucking psychedelic sake. boot for you. Wear your fucking masks for the fucking groovy grizzly, you motherfuckers. Yeah, I don't know. I hope we get back soon, though. I don't want David and I want wrestling to come back. Jesus Christ. Anything else, CJ, that you want to jump on on this episode of The Squatch and The Bun? This has been a pretty no, solid I, I episode. Know, I know far. we went a little long, but that's because we haven't been doing it in the a long time. The thing is, there know? needs to be an episode like this, a uh, one of those episodes that goes an hour and a half almost. We need an episode like that. And before we go, you know we're going to have to shout out. You can get these t-shirts. Once again, I'm going to tell you 20% off. There's no code on ProWrestlingTees.com slash ManBunJesus. Four designs on there. We got other fucking merch you can check out at Man Bun Jesus on Instagram. You can follow that. You can also follow at Man Bun Jesus on Facebook and Twitter at Man Bun Jesus 420 on TikTok. I'm making TikToks like a motherfucker. You know what I mean? I'm not looking at these girls shake their ass because I'm booed up now, baby. But I am making TikTok content all the time. You can subscribe on the three YouTube channels of MBJ, Man Bun Jesus TV, where you got the promos. We got the Kendo Stick Man winning the Fifth Dimension Hardcore Championship, and I just posted one where somebody else won that fucking sweet honey, baby. So go check that out, as well as Johnny Radke TV. There's vlogs there. There's matches, a ton of them, so many, with the greats, the late greats that I have been in the ring with over the fucking past few years, as well as Radke Radio Productions, where... If you're watching right now, you can see our faces live on the YouTube channel as well as SoundCloud.com slash The Squatch and the Bun. You can listen to us and every podcast platform we are on. I like it, man. You can follow me on Instagram at Psychedelic Sasquatch. That's where I post most of my good, good stuff, I feel like, is Instagram. I like Instagram more the than Gramsci. any other social media. There's so much, man. There's so many. You can see all my sunrise fucking videos you can see all my hiking shit i'm trying to make a youtube page just for my hiking vlogs so maybe that'll be coming out soon just a separate hiking page if you want to take a balls deep trip into into the mountains with the squash you can check that out in the near future <laughs> take a trip but um my twitter is bigfoot underscore benson uh, and you can follow me there i'd appreciate it but to be honest i really don't fuck with twitter as much as i used to and Re reason being is because I feel like there's so much goddamn censorship on there, man, and like so much bullshit. And I feel like they filter your feed like so far left that just like try to like 
Everything Donald Trump says has a freaking Twitter thing oh underneath it with a warning, like, oh, this is all fake. Oh, dude, know? if this shit gets flipped, and everything that's everyone be the else best. says that's is gonna like, be the oh. best meme. And there's just so much fucking pandering on there and shit, and like, I don't know, like, I just feel like there's so many people on there that just like they just pander. Even like the indie wrestlers too, like, oh my god, they're just constantly it's, fucking it's so putting toxic, their though. bullshit opinions and complaining and like. I I hate fucking being around negativity and complaining. And if it brings me down and makes me like fucking cringe and just like puts me in a not good mood, why would I look at it? You know, so that's kind of why I haven't been on Twitter so much. It's because uh, I just see a lot of fucking bitches on there, man. You know, <laughs> fuck them. And they're not shaking their ass. They're complaining. <laughs> that's not the bitches we like to look at. <laughs> fuck so. It. Just follow me on the gram and Twitter, I guess. Bigfoot Benson. You already heard it. You know the deal. And with that being said, it is about that time. One, two. Kanye West on the track. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to the Squatch and the Bun episode 14. It. Wherever Let's you go. are listening to it. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a subscribe. Surprise, surprise. Make like sure Durant, you check Durant, out all of our like gimmicks that we do. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been such a great you know, time talking to you. Gold and gold remember, that man bun, Jesus loves you. Have a good day, a groovy night. Do the do, fill the fridge. And, and remember every single day of your life. So stay gold and we'll talk to you next don't time. Make a mess of your living. Make the right decisions. You know the path you got to walk. Bad broads got to stalk when you got cash and talk of a boss and i ain't got neither but this industry's giving me fever i love it the very fact that i'm standing on my own hamilton has grown damn is it known as soon as my hands get to zone in that means it's a classic moment hit a hook go surprise surprise i mean it despite the lies yes i've been told i can't make it now i am golden in your favorite so Surprise, surprise, I made it despite the lie. No, I won't go, I'm too afraid to. So I am here to just save you, yeah. To all my fans, we fighting to bring the soul back in the game. Shit got too electronic. I'ma always love Sonic the Hedgehog, don't question that. But even Sonic wants me to grow and see my destiny. I want you to grow and see yours. Surprise, surprise. I mean it despite the lies. Yes, I've been told I can't make it. Now I am golden in your favorite. So, surprise, surprise. I mean it despite the lies. No, I won't go. I'm too afraid to. So I am here to just save you again. Seven nine eight hope.